Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss on tutorial 24, uh, the topic is heat transfer to. Okay, first question. The solar radiation incident on Earth has an intensity of 1400 watt per meter squared. A black metal plate is placed in such a way that the sunlight reaches uh, its surface perpendicularly. So the temperature of the surroundings is 25 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the metal rises to x degrees Celsius. Find the value of x. Given uh, the emissivity is 0 0.96. So you are given uh, intensity. Uh, intensity 1400 watt per meter squared. So it's power over area. From the unit here we can know. Okay, we got, uh, the unit for power is watt and the unit for area is meter squared. Temperature uh, of the surroundings is 25 degrees Celsius, we label as Ts. And the temperature of the metal itself, we label as T0, is uh, x degrees Celsius. Okay, emissivity is given 0 0.96. So we use uh, Stephen's Boltzmann law uh, statement. The statement is, is uh, the total radiant heat power emitted uh, from a surface is proportional to the fourth power of its absolute uh, temperature. So, from the mathematical form here, P equals to uh, emissivity, uh, Stephen Boltzmann constant. This one is a sigma symbol, Stephen Boltzmann constant, uh, area and the temperature to the power of 4. Okay, so we are going to find temperature uh, T naught eh, x degree Celsius. And we arrange the equation, becomes P over E sigma A and bring the temperature of the surrounding to the uh, right uh, left side become plus okay then uh, we solve for t not eh, uh, which is temperature of the uh, metal itself so we substitute all the values p uh, is 1400 and then area is uh, zero emissivity is 0 0.96 uh, Boltzmann constant is 5.67 times 10 to the power of negative 8. So the area uh, is uh, 1 meter squared here. It's power per area, eh? uh, watt per meter squared. So it's 1400 power uh, watt per 1 meter squared. So this is P over A. Then plus the temperature of surrounding, 25 degrees Celsius, uh, convert to Kelvin. So 25 plus 273 uh, Kelvin. So to solve, to use this formula, don't forget to convert uh, temperature degree Celsius to absolute temperature in Kelvin. Okay, so the answer is 428.16 Kelvin. Okay, so that's the answer. Now we go to question 2. A water pipe of radius 3 cm is made of copper. So the water flowing in the pipe has a temperature of 34 degree Celsius. The temperature of the surrounding air is 30 degrees Celsius. Calculate the amount of energy radiated per second along a 1 meter length of the wire. Emissivity is given as 0 0.65. Okay, you are given radius of the water pipe. So we can find uh, area here. And uh, temperature, uh, 30, uh, temperature of the, uh, of the metal pipe, eh, T0. And temperature of the surrounding we label as Ts. Uh, energy radiated per second, so this is power. And the length of the uh, pipe is 1 meter. Okay, emissivity E 0.65. So how to imagine this? So this is, let's say this is a pipe and the water flow through it. And temperature inside, let's say we use uh, symbol uh, theta, theta node. Eh? Uh, in degree Celsius, we are going to convert to Kelvin later and the surrounding is theta S and we are going to convert to Kelvin in Ts. Okay, so the heat flow from the water uh, inside uh, the metal pipe uh, to the surrounding. Okay? okay, so 
the shape of the pipe is a cylindrical surface okay when the uh, the heat flow uh, to the surrounding so the surface uh, covered is in the cylindrical uh, form so we use the formula of the area of a cylindrical surface which is 2 pi r l okay so the from the stephen boltzmann law p equals to e sigma boltzmann constant a uh, stephen boltzmann constant a area uh, and the temperature to the power of 4 so we substitute the emissivity 0 0.65 Boltzmann, Stephen Boltzmann constant 5.67 times 10 to the power of negative 8 and temperature we convert to Kelvin okay so 30 degrees and 34 degrees Celsius here we convert to Kelvin T naught uh, to the power of 4 minus T S to the power of 4 and the area is uh, 2 pi r l so 2 pi r radius 3 centimeter convert to meter and the length of the water pipe uh, the water pipe is 1 meter so the answer is 3.15 joule per second so you must use what eh? uh, don't use joule per second so the power is uh, 3.15 uh, watt okay so the next question a cube of side 15 cm acting like a body black body is absorbing 1 times 10 to 3 joule of energy per second from its surroundings. So what is the temperature of the cube if the cube is in equilibrium with its surrounding? So you are given the length of the cube 15 cm. Uh, for, for a black body, emissivity is understood to be 1. Okay. Uh, then the power given here uh, is 1 times 10 the power of the, the power of three uh, joule of energy per second temperature t in kelvin uh, from the stephen boltzmann law so p equals to e sigma a t to the power of four so to find a uh, temperature so this is what we're going to find a eh? uh, temperature of the cube so we use uh, we arrange the equation so t equals to uh, p to P over E sigma A K to the power of 1 over 4. Okay, so substitute the power. Emissivity of a black body is 1. Uh, Boltzmann, uh, Stephen Boltzmann constant, 5.7 times 10 to the power of negative 8. And area is uh, given 15, uh, 15 centimeter. Uh, the side, uh, 15 centimeter squared. So, uh, 15 centimeters so it's a cube eh? so if it is a cube so the area we use uh, area uh, of a, a square area of a square so that's mean length times width so 15 centimeter times 15 centimeter and convert it to meter square meter, eh? so the answer for temperature is 601.2 kelvin so be careful of the area for uh, each case uh, given uh, in the question so for this case the area is a uh, area of a uh, square for question uh, 2 just now uh, the area uh, for the heat flow to the surrounding is area of a cylindrical surface so now we go to question 4 a black body radiates all the energy supplied to it and reaches a steady temperature of 1680 kelvin Okay, so it's already uh, temperature convert to Kelvin when the input power is P. Okay, input power given P. Find the temperature it would achieve if the input power is 1 over 4 P. So in this question, uh, it gave two situations. Eh? The first input power is P and then the second input power is 1 uh, over 4 P. Okay, so emissivity is 1. Why we know that it's equals to 1? Because it mentioned in the question here, a black body radiates all the energy. So all the energy means the emissivity is, uh, emissivity is understood to be 1. Okay, temperature for situation 1 is 1680 Kelvin. And the second temperature uh, we use as T2. Eh? So P1 and P2 given. Okay, now we form two equations from the given uh, two situations. So, two equations. So, the first equation P1 equals to 
Sigma AT124 eh, Sigma uh, is a symbol for Stephen uh, uh, Boltzmann uh, constant Okay, so we substitute the value here uh, P1 is P uh, Sigma A1 uh, temperature is uh, 1680 Kelvin So already in Kelvin temperature It's already given in Kelvin So for situation 2 P2 is uh, 1 over 4 P Okay, sigma equals to sigma A and T2 to the power 4. So, we use a ratio 2 to 1. Okay, substitute uh, the two equi uh, equation into the, into here, 2 over equation, 2 over equation 1. Okay, cancel uh, sigma A and cancel P. And uh, cross multiply to get uh, T2 and we get the answer. 1187.9 Kelvin so you can round off it to four significant figures 1188 Kelvin okay round off to four significant figures uh, to 1188 Kelvin okay now we go to question 5 star x emits radiant energy at a rate of 10 to of 6 times greater than star x at star y so, however, the surface temperature of star X is one-third of star Y. So, estimate the radius of star X if the radius of star Y is 8, point, uh, 8 times 10 to about 5 km. So, we take uh, emissivity equals to 1 for both stars. So, we have two star here. So, for star X, the power uh, px eh, is 10 to of 6 of y so we write as 10 to of 6 py so for py we write for star y we write as py and temperature for x is uh, tx equals to one third of ty so for star y we just write as ty okay rx and one more is radius of star y we write as ry okay so now we form two equation uh, from the Stephen Boltzmann uh, law, P equals to E sigma A T power 4. So the, we assume that the star is a spherical shape. So the spherical surface will be 4 pi r squared. Okay, so you form two equation. Px equals to, the first equation is Px equals to sigma 4 pi r x squared T x to power 4. Okay, so the Px uh, is 10 to of 6 Py. Okay, and uh, Tx is 1 over 3 Ty. So, we substitute the value of P and T for star X. Okay, for star Y, we do the same. Uh, we use the same formula. So, uh, we write uh, Py uh, equals to sigma 4 pi. Ry is uh, given 8 times 10 to 5 kilometer convert to meter then Ty to the power 4 so this is equation 2 okay so now uh, we uh, take the ratio uh, to equation 2 over equation 1 okay then we cancel Py cancel uh, sigma 4 pi okay uh, cancel Ty to the power of 4 and cross multiply we get rx squared okay then uh, solve for rx we get 7.2 times 10 to the power of 12 meter so the in kilometer we can write as 7.2 times 10 to, to the power of 9 kilometer okay so that's the answer for question 5 so that's all for uh, tutorial 24 uh, heat transfer 2 okay bye bye